Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season three, episode seven of Marvel's Runaways called Left Hand Path. So we start off with Molly hit Chase when they try to get the phone away from her. She just went, literally went berserk, but Carolina mean managed to break the phone. Then Molly snapped out of it and she did, did not even know what she did, which is Ooh. And then we cut to where Nico is awake, and uh, then she, her dad walks in, and he doesn't care. <laughs> and then she asks, like, what happened to mom? She said, he said she got committed. And so then Nico goes to talk to Morgan and wants her to work with her, and she wants her to bring a staff, and she will help find Alex. Then the mom is out cold because of the nurse, because uh, she tried to do a spell to get out, but the nurse has um, chances to block all that stuff and to knock her out cold with the medicine. Then we cut to where Carolina is icy with Nico, and they argue, and then we cut to where Gert um, basically messed up Alex's computer. <laughs> Then we cut to where Nico wants to go visit mom, and then she got denied, but then she worked to, to uh, see her in her favor, talking about like, okay, hey, well, Morgan's not going to be happy about this, and she said, like, what do you mean? So, well, she told me to come here and to give her, like, say, like, like, my final words to her, and she's like, okay, let me just call, so, oh, yeah, just call her, I'm sure she has all the time for you to call her and to explain to her what she asked me to do. And so anyway, she got inside and then um, helped her mom escape. Then we cut to where Morgan sees the video about the kids um, recording the video saying like, how bad the phones are. And she got that video erased everywhere. And to the point also where they couldn't record again because the camera could not see them. Then we cut to where Mr. Wilder talks to uh, Morgan and because um, basically um, he's basically living with Tamar and helping with the baby and stuff. But he just wants to know where Alex is. Anyway, so um, he's and also doing the Wiz HQ, like a new one in the neighborhood to help people have jobs and stuff. And she said he, uh, she can bring Alex back and tells him to wear a necklace to help, uh, help him find him. And then we cut to where uh, then we cut to where Nico's mom sees Robert and she cried the necklace and now he's back to his normal self. Then Leslie and Molly talk and that was a very ooh rough conversation. So basically Leslie put a hit on her parents and her parents went bye bye and she never told Molly this, but Molly figured it out because she talked to Dale and Dale kind of let it slip a little bit. So that's how that happened. Then Victor, Stacy, and Chase's mom talk about a virus for the phone. We we'll try to implement that. Then we we'll cut to where Molly talks to a guy. Then Nico warns her mother, but um, Nico goes after the dad. And so talks to Morgan. And then we cut to where Victor and Stacy talk to Mr. Wilder and it's like, look, we just need to get into the server room to put a virus on these phones so they won't be implemented. And he lost them in a room. Then we cut to where Molly talks to the guy and shows him her powers and he's like very impressed by he's not like scared at all. Then we cut to where Morgan shows Alex the mirror, oh, uh, in the mirror. And so she's like, look, okay, fine, I'll bring the staff and then you can help me find Alex. And then we cut to where the gang found Dale and then the witches are there because of uh, the dude, he basically played them all and um, brought the witches in. And then we cut to where uh, Robert found the room and they found the book that Morgan knows because apparently she put enchantment on it that anyone went, that's vile put their hands on it, it's like done. And also the book is um, kind of crazy because it reminds me, uh, I think it is the same freaking book as uh, the one Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It has like the same thing on it. So that was like a little callback to that show, which I love that show. Anyway, and uh, then uh, we cut to where um, she tortures uh, Robert and hurt him really bad to the point where he's gonna go bye-bye. Then the guy is crushing on Molly, like I said, but that's a fake out. 
because he has a surprise. <laughs> And then we cut to where he, the, um, the witches KO everyone. Then Nico Stad says goodbye and to guard Nico to her mom. And then uh, he goes off and on a permanent vacation. Then Nico does a ritual for her dad. And he's talking about like, see the lens through my eyes. I was like wearing the glasses and stuff. And turns out he recorded everything with the glasses. Then we cut to where the gang is awake and Carolina's don't work. And so Nico does a spill and run into Cloak and Dagger. And that was the end of the episode. Uh, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I gave it an A+. Plus. Um, I love the storyline in here because it's, it's so interesting and so bizarre. But it's an all in a good way. <laughs> and how Chase's mom now lives in the computer and it's like... A sentient being and the computer which is kind of cool um i really like the um the action scenes and how like um you know there was a lot of stuff especially with the kid calling the witches and stuff i thought that was kind of interesting as well because it's like is he a warlock or what's his role and um you know along with them and i just really enjoyed it so anyway that's what i'm doing for this video so like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That's helped the video, the channel a lot. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.